What's going on, everyone? You just can't make this stuff up right now, and this is a disaster. <laughs> and really, just to top it off, after the past couple of weeks, we've been seeing the stock market. SoFi stock tumbles again today after they accidentally released their first quarter earnings report early, like midday. The stock was then halted for three hours during the day, and the company then reported that it was released early due to a human error. Now, it's funny. We've actually been seeing a bunch of this stuff. Um, Affirm, this sort of thing happened to Affirm, even Facebook Meta. Um, now, either there's there have been leaks, there have been fake reports released, um, not the correct ones. Like it's been a, it's been really weird the past couple of months. I'm um, seeing this has actually you know been pretty common. Uh, a couple of companies now having this type of issue, whether attack, whether it's just honest error. Um, we shall see. But realistically, this stock comes out, and why was it down? It's because of the second line right here. Its forecast for the second quarter was weaker than predicted, despite them actually topping some of the estimates. Um, that's the thing. You can't come out right now and guide lower, which is one of the biggest issues that you are seeing right now in the market. When companies are coming out and guiding lower, this is where they're seeing a lot of issues and they're seeing a lot of sell-offs uh, because of it. They were supposed to release after the market closed and the shares went down. They were down like 18, 20% at one point today, um, but it actually rebounded a good chunk uh, to finish off the day. It's up a little bit in the after hours too. So they came with a loss of 14 cents per share. The analysts expected a 15 cent per share loss. Uh, and they also beat revenue reporting 322 million versus a 286 estimate. So you would think that would, you know, right there guide to a decent you know, earnings report a decent reaction, but because they actually ended up guiding lower for their second quarter, um, that's the problem. Their forecast is not looking as good as it once was, and that's where no one wants to hold stocks at this point in time that have, you know, potentially poor outlooks going forward, um, at least based off of what, you know, the expectations were. Here's the chart. It's a mess. I mean, it's just, you know, obviously stair-stepping down the past couple of days, starts the day off here today, pushes up. Market was actually green a little bit. Uh, and then boom, hits down to 482, hit a new low, 482, then bounces back to 580. Uh, actually, 581, I believe, was the high of the day, and then closes at 525, it's at 539, 540 in the after hours as we speak. Here's the big picture on, on SoFi because I want to make sure we look at this. It's been in this channel to the downside, and this has been the biggest thing to watch. And it tried to get to the top of the channel again a couple of days ago, 716 area, got rejected. So it's been in this channel to the downside. So until this channel breaks, that's your, your setup. If we go to the weekly chart on SoFi, here's your, you know, here's what it looks like. And it looks disgusting. It looks just so nasty. Really since 2022 began, this sell-off is just accelerating to the downside. So Right now, the biggest reversal look for, let's say, a swing trader, let's say you want to be an investor, but you don't want to just randomly buy into a, a stock that's dipping, you know, if you're if that's you know your style, then you want to wait till it breaks out of this channel to the downside and breaks up. So right now and starts to kind of push up and curl. So right now, obviously, you're not going to get the lowest price, you know, but you're going to get at least when we start seeing that trend break, the sell-off pattern break. That's what you're going to be buying into. So when SoFi gets up really over the 715 area, 725, 750, those are our key spots to watch. Obviously, if this continues in this, this channel for a lot longer, the break back, the upside will be at lower levels. So again, right now, as we speak, the recent high was up here towards 715. So really a break over 725, 750 as of now would be a really good sign for SoFi going forward. So that's what we're watching on SoFi. Beyond that, you know, the initial low back in the early trading days was up around here this $10 area. So 10 bucks will be a good psychological level to watch as well. The lows from most of the year 2021 around this $14 area. So we can draw a line there at 14 bucks. Um, that's kind of this area. This is the zone that we're looking at on SoFi that was acting as support for a good chunk of 2021. That's a spot to watch. And we're on the weekly chart. Each of these candlesticks is one week. Um, we're just looking at a bigger picture view on SoFi to get a feel for things. If I go back to the daily, the 50 SMA is sitting right here at around 815, 825 or so. So we're watching that level to be an area to watch. I mean, SoFi has not been able to get over that blue line, the 50 SMA. Um, for the entirety of this year. So that's a key spot to watch too. If it does break out over this kind of channel to the downside, 8, 
25, that 50 SMA, that's where it's at right now. That will come down over time. So wherever that lines up with SoFi, a break over the 50 SMA and a hold above will be an interesting spot, or at least will be a, a new pattern break, a trend break from what we've been seeing as of late. Let us know your thoughts on SoFi in the comment section down below. Thanks so much for watching. We'll leave a link to a webinar covering three awesome trading signals to add to your arsenal. Talk about how to make money on the downside there as well. Thanks so much, guys. Any other links, resources down in the video description box below. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.